probably misinterpret what I'm saying. I don't really care. I'm talking. I'm speaking my opinion. You know, either you agree or disagree. I think that most black people have never experienced real racism. Now, here's the context. My grandfather died recently, and he was 95 years old. My grandmother died 93 on my father's side. See, I'm lighter skinned because my dad is light skinned. My dad has blue eyes. His mother has a, like a half white mother. And, that, and see, my grandfather, my, my father is light skinned. He looks like Jason Kidd, the basketball player, right? My mother is very brown skinned. She looks like an average black woman. So my father is the reason why I'm light. He looks like Jason Kidd. His mother is light, but his father is dark, right? So. You know, the light-skinned people on my father's side experienced a lot of racism back in the 50s and 60s. I had my, my father actually had an uncle who, was, who died as a result of, a, of an accident on the highway. He got into an accident in Martinsville, Virginia, close to North Carolina, back in 58, 1958. And he's a light-skinned man like, like me. So he had blood all over his face, right? And back then, black guys used to wear processed hair. So... Protocol is, protocol is, you know, the ambulance came, the white hospital came, because remember back then you had white hospitals and black hospitals. So they took, they picked him up, they took him to the hospital, and once they cleaned him up and got his ID, they realized he was black. Guess what they did? They took him back to that accident scene, dropped him off. They called the black hospital to get him, but guess what? The black hospital was in North Carolina, 70 miles away. So he died while he, while he was waiting. And um, you can't tell me you experienced that. My dad, my dad is 70, and he told me that when he was a little boy, he remembers that he couldn't he couldn't shop at the grocery store. He had a, like they had a grocery store for the town, and they had a white side to it and a black side to it, and the black people couldn't shop in that grocery store until the white people were finished. There was like times. White people can shop from this time to this time. Black people can only shop for like a little bit of time. I remember my mom. My mom is 68. I remember my mom was telling me a story when she was 14. Her and her mother, my grandmother, they were trying to get a house in a certain neighborhood. And they actually got denied. The letter actually said, we're denying you because you're black. African Americans aren't allowed to live in this neighborhood. And I doubt you went through that. I don't think any black I don't, I don't, people out here crying about racism, they never went through that. They don't know what that's like. <laughs> yeah, you might might have been profiled by the police or whatever, or you might have had a bad interaction with a white person, but you don't know what real systemic institutional racism is. Institutional systemic racism is you're a good student. You got all A's in high school, like my mother. But when you apply to a certain college, they denied you because you were black. Institutional systemic racism is you can't live in this neighborhood because you're black and it's legal <laughs> You got to understand the 50s and 60s Legal racism was going on. My grandparents were around. My parents were little kids back then. They seen it. They seen real racism My uncle my, my dad's uncle died as a result of racism because he wasn't allowed to go to a white hospital You can't tell me that your experience matches up with that so my point is, the people in the 60s and 50s, they went through real racism. Yes, racism does exist. It exists. But I think that if you're the kind of person who says racism is so strong that we can't beat it, you're lying. If, they, if we were in the 50s and 60s, yeah, I, I can agree with that. But right now, is racism so strong that you can't defeat it? No. If you're black and you want to succeed and you want to be somebody in, li be somebody in life, you can do it. Back then when my mama and dad were kids and my grandparents were in their 20s, even if they wanted to be somebody in life, they couldn't because it was against the law.